Hey there, Reed here. Back outside uh, with the chickens this morning. Just had to give another quick little update about them. The gray water's doing pretty good. I need to set it up a bit better on a timer and dig a trench because it goes across the driveway to get it up here. <clears throat> I want my nutrients at the top of the space so that as they flow downhill, they go into the pseudo gardening area that's just down there. And along with that, I thought I'd show you a couple other things. So I took a trip to uh, see a bunch of family over the summer, and I was gone for just about a week. Now I've got uh, currently 28 chickens in the flock, and I did not have anyone come here to take care of them. That's right, gone for almost a week. Nobody came and took care of them. Like, you know, it was hours shy of a week or something like that. And when I got home, everyone was still good. I think there's one dead chicken. That happens. But I got this chicken guard. It's the extreme version. And that's an automatic door. It connects down here to this door that I made for it. And so every morning and every evening, it opens and closes. I have it set up on a timer. There's a couple other options. Let's see if for open settings, there's the timer. Exit. A manual setting, a sensor, and then a timer. I thought there's a one for the light. I guess the sensor is the light. And I also got really good service from them. My first unit actually didn't work, and it's kind of expensive. I think I paid something around $400 for it. There's people who have had it for years, and since the customer service is so good, uh, you know, I'm actually recommending it. I've had this one now for over a year, and it's working out great. So, this is my primary feeder in the coop. It's designed for 50 birds. And with all the run area that I have out there for them, I top this off. Literally, there was a little bit going over the edge of it. And there was still a little bit of food left in there when I came back. This is my watering container for them again that's designed for 50 birds and it was totally empty but out here i've got a rain barrel that i have sloppily set up you can see it's dripping water there but it's full and what i did was i took a bunch of water from the hose and i put a bunch of water in there and so that still had water in it when i came home and Besides the birds being very happy to see me, uh, it was basically all good. Now I get my birds for free, and so I'm not concerned about losing a bird here or there. In fact, I lost kind of a lot of birds this year. Started out with, I think, 78, and then I sold off the oldest ones, brought it down to about 55, and now I'm down to 28. But since I'm getting them for free, I'm not too concerned about it. As you can see, like, well, let me check. There's no overhead netting for them here. Hey, son. To which I'm going to add a little bit right around the back of the coop. And if you can see the bird in the distance, right there, that bird is beyond the, the fence line. Because I'm still working on that. Now, the other thing I thought I'd show you real quick. I've got this upside down bucket, so that way some of the birds like to lay out here. And this tub, if you're wondering, is a worm bin. Now I need to change out this top to it and just put a uh, some hardware cloth, like you can see right there, just right over it so it gets wet in the rain, because that's obviously not breaking down very much. Um, and I don't think any of the worms are alive in there. So as I move some manure on some other projects, I will pick the worms out of those spots and put them in there anyway if you're looking to advance your own homestead or relation to your chickens and things and you want to actually go away for a weekend or you don't want to get up on the coldest day just to come and open the gate for them my recommendation is definitely get one of those chicken doors that automatically opens. There's some other brands I hear that are out there that seem to work pretty well too. I haven't explored them, 
I'd also say oversize your feeders. Maybe you need two of those on both the waterfront and the food front. And, you know, when you want to go away, just top them right up. So that way you don't need to be concerned about there being food for the birds there. And live a great life. Have so much fun and enjoy some excellent eggs and some, you know, um, what do we call that? Broth birds. When that time of their life comes, and if you overstock your flock, you know, you don't need to worry about the raptors coming by as much. Anyway, with that, have too much fun.